Yes, we're live. Woohoo! So where should we look at the camera? Yeah. <laughs> there. It's hard to look at the camera and not look. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can look at both right now. I don't. I don't know if anyone's here. Mm -hmm. We're here. We'll we'll just. Check. Oh look, five people are here. Oh, good. there we go. Okay. Oh, and we got four. Six people are here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just it just turned eight. Yes. We were chatting and, and we almost like missed the time. Yeah, we almost like, oh, time. <laughs> you have to you have to hit the go live button. So yeah, so we're learning. It's a good thing we did that on hi, time. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We didn't start our live late. Um, um hi everyone. Thank hello. you for joining. Ah, uh, oh, hey Jen. Hi. One hey. of our, our favorite pals too. And not just because your name is also Jen. But. <laughs> well, I like you too. And my name is not Jen, so um, there we go. I'm just gonna angle, so yeah, we might be moving things around a lot and stuff. Yeah, um, as we get comfortable. Hi, hi, Juliet. So this is cool. So yeah, please feel free to comment and write as we go along, and we'll do our best to to keep up. Yeah, but we're <laughs> practicing our eyelines if we're talking and reading your <laughs> comments. Um, uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jen. I'm uh, Stacey's friend and producer, so I'm usually on the other side of the camera. Yes. Um, filming, timing stretches. So if your stretches are ever too long or too short, <laughs> my fault. <laughs> She'd be like eating a sandwich. Yeah. She'd be like, uh, how long am I holding this? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> you're good. I give her like thumbs up, like, can you see me? So that's usually my job. Um, and, uh, and she's my motivator as well. Go Stacy, go Stacy. <laughs> um, we also wanted to say that we um, we are a bubble family. Yes, um, yes, yes. We, when the stay-at-home order was in effect where we live, we actually didn't see each other. Um, but other than that, we, um, our kids and each other, we've been hanging out. But I don't go in anybody else's home, not my in-laws, no one else's, and vice versa, except for the. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like going, Stacey, no. what? I mean, no, 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 no. No, I, I don't go anywhere. <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I'm at home with the kids. And the most I, I go out is to check mail most days. Which leads us into our... Yeah. <laughs> How's everybody doing with that? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of you that are kind of stuck at home. and Oh, you need to yell Oh, or Louder. can you can you not oh, hear us? Let's try some volume. How's the, is Thank this better? You. Thanks for letting us know that. Maybe we should move it closer too. Is that better? Sound check. Sound check. Can you hear? Can you hear me whining now? <laughs> try not to whine. I had a hair elastic. I'm putting my hair elastic. Um, Jen, we never you, you never got to take a. That's true. <gasps> yes, Natasha. Yeah. Oh, I do remember. <laughs> I'm going to make her do a jazz class one of these days. Or I mean, she'll do like her own little, she'll have her own segment in, in a workout video. Yeah. We'll do a jazz workout. I'll just like, <laughs> just do dance moves in the background that have nothing to do with the workout. Exactly. Like I'll just be like. Just do jazz hands in the background. Yeah. You just see my hands like this coming <laughs> on the side. Yeah. Um, okay. Hopefully that audio is better. Okay. Can, um, you, can you just let us know if you can't hear us, uh, if I need to adjust um, and again, this is a learning process, so we can, you know, get a better mic if we need to next. Yeah. We don't have a mic right now. We just have the computer. Mic, so. Yes, just have this. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So, okay. So, leading into this. So, I know, uh, first of all, February is, I don't know, in my opinion, one of the hardest months just because it's, you know, it's the very end of winter. Yeah. Um, oh, good. Thank you. Sound is good. Phew. Um, it, it, it's like, it's just been a long winter already. We've been stuck inside more than usual. So I know I've had some pretty rough days um, because I'm, and sometimes it's because um, I'm too lazy to go outside. And it's like, I know I have to get the kids outside. And I'm just like, I really don't want to do it because I'm a suck when it comes to the cold as well. <laughs> but when I do, even if I make us go out for like five minutes, those days actually do make a difference. Um, I don't know about you. Well, yeah, you yeah. guys, you get outside a lot. Yeah. You're, well, you're we had a we have a rink in our backyard this winter, so that really helped. Um, but yeah, it, uh, fresh air is key, and we also have a very large dog that needs to be walked oh, twice yeah. a day. So there's like a five kilometer minimum right. right there. So get a pet just to make you go outside. No, or get um, mail, 
or get mail. <laughs> That's not a very long <laughs> walk. I'm like, kids, who wants to come get mail with me? <laughs> <laughs> nobody ever wants to go yeah. so but yeah I literally have to force us to get outside usually um what what other things have been hard what what has been everything's I, been hard yeah. tying your shoes is hard getting out of bed is hard um no it's like it's been a year though we were talking about that like March at least where we are we live in Ontario Canada um just outside of Toronto and like uh like the pandemic pretty much started mid-March for us. Like that's when, like it was around March break came and then everything was locked down. And it's so surreal and wild to think that it's been a calendar year since then. Yeah, I know. It's been a whole, a whole year. Yeah. And I remember thinking like, oh my goodness, like the two weeks of March break and like probably like three weeks with like, if we don't go back right away to school, like what are we going to do with the kids? Like, what will we ever do with the kids with no play dates and, and no, you know, science center, no like things to take them to. Like we do like indoor rock climbing gyms and stuff. Like I remember feeling like, what are we going to do? And then now we've figured it out for, we've been in it for a year now, which is wild. Um, So we're, we're survivors, all of us. (laughs) I mean, like who would have thought that this would have, come and like hit us right it's like never in my wildest dreams like I have a long list of things to be terrified of in life (laughs) in general but a global pandemic was never yeah that wasn't on my list not on my radar um yeah it's wild uh Natasha exactly Natasha says I don't know okay so you guys can all see what yeah yeah Yeah. they can see all each other's comments yep yeah snow I used to like snow that's the only way I could get the kids out is if there was like a fresh snow or something like let's build a snowman yeah yeah. and we'd build a snowman and be like okay let's go inside (laughs) it would last maybe like 10 minutes yeah be this wonky little snowman yeah but tobogganing going tobogganing is great just things like that that when we anytime we got outside definitely made a difference but we I'm guilty of not doing it enough and I'm I have to you know I'm health advocate, right? I need to like be practicing what I preach. So I have to force myself. I remind myself to do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is. It's, <sighs> it's key. Um, anyone feel free to message. Like if there's any things you guys have been doing that have been helpful and like, how are you guys feeling? Like, are, are you in the groove and you kind of, are you an introvert who it really hasn't? Like, I know some people who are introverts and they're like, this has actually been kind of a nice change of pace. And, they, it, it's been hard, of course, but it hasn't been so problematic. And then there's other people I know. I'm an extreme introvert, but I have a, like... Introvert? Er, introvert. <laughs> oh, you're not. Introvert. <laughs> I can tell you that she's not. <laughs> Jazz Hands is not... Jazz Hands is not an introvert. I'm an extreme extrovert. <laughs> but, like, I'm so thankful for this project and for you. Like, you have been my real-life sane friend who like have kept my sanity Um, thank goodness for for having bubble friends yeah Um, yeah thank you thanks for being my (laughs) my rock my bubble (laughs) same Um, same and I'm and I'm probably a bit more well I'm definitely more of an introvert so I did think that maybe this would be not so bad right I'm like hey I can I can get used to this Mm -hmm. I don't really socialize that much anyway um, but it does, it gets to you and just not even having the option yeah. sometimes, right? Like yeah. just being able to go to a restaurant yeah. or, you know, you know what I really miss the most? What? And it's kind of funny. Maybe you guys can relate. Um, sorry, today's the first year anniversary of mission getting its first two. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Time flies. <laughs> um, somebody posted on uh, Facebook, a friend of mine posted, um, pictures, from a shopping expedition that she did at HomeSense. And she just posted like 50 pictures of what they had in stock. And I can't tell you how many people responded. And it was like, it was like window shopping. Cause there's, that was seriously one of the few things that I would look forward to. That was my, my mental health thing would be to get out and just, just browse at Winners yeah. for HomeSense. Yeah. Those are my two favorite places. And just whether I needed anything or not whether I bought anything or not, just yeah. being able to go out and just kind of clear your head and 
I'm just imagining you when the stores are open, like you're just going and like running through the clothes and like snipping <laughs> oh, them. <laughs> oh, stores rolling around on the couches. <laughs> no, my mom does that too. Like that's kind of her. Like my mom uh, lives with us, uh, so my mom is kind of like our live-in nana. So she um, is like amazing, and we're so lucky to have her. It really, it's helped us because we're both working from home, so she's able to help out, which is great. Um, mm-hmm. But that's her. Like she also is a winner's. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, we we probably bump that. into each other. <laughs> uh, let's um, see. Um, oh, jo- oh. <laughs> my sister-in-law Phoenix is on here. She's, like, yeah, you're right. I, I can't speak. I'm not an introvert. Oh, missing live music, miss yeah. DJing. Oh, oh, yeah, and going out for walks. I really wish I lived somewhere close. I, some of my my clients they post pictures of walks on their like little hikes and stuff and these beautiful ravines and stuff and I was like drooling <laughs> the outside world looks like a, a magical place it's yeah. like it's so crazy the things we start taking for granted you know yeah no it's so true like it I makes a big difference I do um I do think that we it, it'll probably wear off and we'll go back to being assholes but like I'm sure <laughs> I kind of feel like people will hopefully take you know, less things for granted and appreciate more the the smaller things, right? And like, I don't know, I feel like the first time that we have like family over for a celebration, like I just feel like I might just cry, like to have <laughs> family in our house again, you know? And See, like, again, that's where we're different. <laughs> No. Yeah. Stacy's family. I hope you're not watching. I know. I love. I love my family. But again, we don't. I come from a smaller family, and yeah. we don't do big gatherings yeah. anyway. So it doesn't yeah. really affect us that way as much. But obviously, obviously, it'll be nice yeah. when we can. Like yeah. I, I do miss I get the connection, any connection, yeah. and I don't take that for granted. Yeah. I don't want to sound like an asshole. No, you don't. I'm just, <laughs> gotta love like I'm a bit of an asshole. No. <laughs> we all are. Um, hello, ladies from across the pond. I don't miss that Canada snow. Uh, my wife laughed at me going to the pub over there. <laughs> it's and now we don't even have the snow though. Like spring is definitely coming. Well, you say that um, it's coming next week. Like we always get like fake spring. Yeah, I it's know, like it's true. nice out, and then the snow's like just kidding. Well, the snow for now the snow is gone. <laughs> but what's nice is that it's actually warming up. Yeah, see, I I don't. I don't mind the snow at all. I yeah. like the snow. Yeah. It's the cold temperature that yeah. I don't like. Yeah. Again, I'm a California girl. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> even though I've lived in Canada most of my life. But You're holding on I to have that. Warm, I'm warm blooded. Your family's from Hawaii, right? My fa- yeah, my, yeah. Well, my dad's Hawaiian. My mom is uh, from Illinois. So. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that really is in your blood, though. Like, like people that are from warmer climates, you know, like, like you're just like, I don't, I'm not, nope. Nope, too cold for me. But I also think I'm just a suck. you're a, you're a suck. <laughs> you're also a suck. I was just I'll gonna suck. say, the older I get, like when I get cold, I feel like my organs are like vibrating, and like I just I have to just put tons. Like it's all about being warm. Like yeah. I've got the toque, the mitts, the long underwear, <laughs> the snow pants, and then I'm good. Um, ah, <laughs> uh, so uh, Jenny oh, nice. is in our um, beginner fitness group. Yes. And she just said that we are the best and she's uh, <laughs> helped with her mental health. Well, yeah. Thank well, you. good. And you know what? Having the group has helped my mental health too. Because yeah. again, uh, one of the biggest takeaways about all of this is the accountability. Because I have to be accountable too, obviously, right? Yeah. I have to, you know, make sure I'm checking in with everybody. I didn't realize how much having um, the group, yeah. how like, big a part of this whole thing it would it's more than just giving out the exercises and doing them yeah it's also having that that team um especially these days right yes when you're, if people don't have a lot of people to talk to or to check in with so it's it's been good for me too and for Jen right absolutely like, yeah like uh miss extrovert so <laughs> like hi friends who wants to chat online yeah I've just taken all of my extroverted energy and like it into Facebook groups and Zoom calls <laughs> and uh, and actually create 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 the yeah, 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 creative ways of hanging out with people. Like I can't tell you how many masked skating dates. Like we've had like my cousins over in small batches this winter. Everyone's wearing masks and we've had like a couple kids on the ice at a time like skating. Um, and then like everyone brought their own hot chocolate and a thermos oh, and everyone's, you know, and, and in previous years, like you wouldn't have done that. You just 
come in the house, right? right. Um, and then like just those creative ways of hanging out. So like still getting that connection. I um, a friend was telling me her and her aunt met in a parking lot distance, <laughs> unrolled their windows, and had a Timmy's together. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, people you know? are coming up with all sorts yeah. of creative ways to, to interact yeah. aside from just the, the video screen. What's funny too is Jen and I were just talking. Um, the check is in. Sorry, I get distracted by the. <laughs> the check ins go a long way. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ross. Absolutely. Hi, Ross. <laughs> I don't know Ross. But Ross is my client. Oh, He's hi, Ross. Ross. I think it's Ross, my client. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a different Ross. But, um, yeah, uh, check-ins are very, very important, and uh, I'm I'm thrilled that we have a, a community to to do this with, and a, and a means to. I mean, one thing is that we're definitely probably all becoming, whether we wanted to or not, more um, technically savvy. Yes, yes. But I will tell you, one of the biggest things I think also one of the biggest takeaways I've had from this whole pandemic thing um, is. Um, the, being pushed out of to do things out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. um like start a youtube channel like start a youtube <laughs> channel like doing this right now um these are all things that i would not normally be doing um but as stressful as they can be they're also very rewarding yeah social media i'm still working on because that one still stresses me out but i'm teaching myself you're on tiktok Jen's, now Jen, i'm on tiktok i can't believe i'm on tiktok Ugh, i swore i would never do tiktok but it's like crack. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's fun. That's a whole lost. other thing. Just watching. Um, but it's forcing you to do things that you that I wouldn't normally yeah. do, and and that is, um, I've learned a lot, and I think everybody is having to 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 do things that they wouldn't normally do, right? Just to adjust and adapt, and so it's not all bad. No. There are definitely some good things for as sure. Well. For sure, like I, I the the slowing down, the slower pace. Um, has been really good. What are you laughing at? <laughs> family is watching, but tuned in late, just as Jen saying she hoped family wasn't watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's your sister? Oh, I've heard about a lot of uh, Zoom. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nice. I love my sister. I love, <laughs> I do love my family. But as, as I was explaining, and you know, yeah, we're not like, mm -hmm. we don't hang out all the time or have big get togethers which we should change when this is over. <laughs> It'll just become a keg party 24 seven. I'm going to keep showing up on your door. I'm going to be like, Hey sis, let me in. Let me in. It would be like a stray cat. Um, oh, you have someone here said they have uh, zoom, like standing zoom game nights on Saturdays for. Yeah. That, that's all. awesome. Oh, and you, oh, you play Among Us. Oh, that's fun. I keep hearing about this game because the kids are all into it. They play it at your house. Yeah, yeah, my kids play Among now, Us. Now they yeah. want it for their birthday as yeah, well. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep researching all these. My kids are like the gateway games kids and stuff. Just, like introducing. Um, oh, someone said it. They think it's funny you got TikTok before Twitter. Yeah, well, I just, I'm not going to Twitter. I just, no. You know, it's like, I Twitter, can't be bothered. There's, you, you, I feel like you also have to pick how many platforms you're on, right? Yeah, I, I mean, like, like, I'm on like you porn. What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wanted to see if anyone was actually just making jokes. Hey, I'm not judging. Judge. I'm not judging. <laughs> you got it. Be you. Be Can you. only be on so many. Um, it's a matter of being able to balance them all. Yeah. Though, right. Yeah. And yeah, for sure. So uh, yeah, it's good that we have the technology we do in this pandemic. Um, I like that I've been able to work from home now. I, I was commuting, as you know, like taking the GO train downtown Toronto five days a week. I can never, any colleagues, employers of mine watching this, I can never come back to commuting <laughs> nine to five. Like I didn't love it then anyway. Right. But, but yeah, and now you're used to this new, this yeah. new reality. There's, well, it, things are going to change, uh, forever yeah now like yeah. there's going to be a lot of things already are yeah um my husband's an actor and auditioning he used to have to go in for every audition now everything's on zoom or self-tape yeah which is infinitely easier unless you're single and yeah. you don't have anyone to read with you which is an oh which is, which right is a battle could you um, use like a stuffed teddy bear and unless it speaks oh it has to come back to you <laughs> oh that's key <laughs> I was like, that just play the not, other card yeah it's not just for eyeline oh. um it 
they would have to actually say the lines, but what they have to do is they can get somebody else zooming in as well. Oh, okay. But it just makes it more complicated, right? And especially if it's a live Zoom, like audition, yeah, yeah. then you have to get someone to 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 be there at the exact time. And you, I don't know, it just stresses me out just yeah, talking about seriously. it. Yeah, um, seriously. Yes, Kim, I know I could. I, I am so, seriously, if I... <laughs> You know I'm kidding because seriously, um, if I didn't have my sister to to confide in, I mean she's she's been there for me when I've had my particularly bad days, and I hope I'm you know I'm doing the same for you. But yeah, thank goodness, thank goodness we have each other. Me for sisters. <laughs> There's a lot more working from home in Australia. Oh, hi from Australia. Um, oh, 50 50. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Yes not commuting. Mm -hmm. It is, it is like work-life yeah. balance. Like it's not BS. Like, uh, like I, I think a lot of companies have been resistant, like a lot of older companies, um, mm -hmm. uh, have been resisting that for many years. Like, Oh, people are just going to like mess around and not get their work done. Right. No, when you feel more balanced, when like I get my workout done in the morning, I walk my dog, mm -hmm. I'm saving 10 hours a week just by not commuting. It's crazy. Yeah. So I see my kids more. So I actually have more energy for my work. I'm actually more, more efficient. Morale, right? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. morale, like it, it does make a difference. In the comfort of how you want to work too. Yeah. Not, and just like, like naked. Not everybody has, okay. not everybody <laughs> has, not judging. Not everybody has like the nicest office yeah. right? either. So yeah. sometimes that can just be like, add to the like doldrums or. Yeah. That's true. Um, that's true. Um, I don't miss commuting at all. Just hard to get that work life. That you yeah, have. for sure. Again, another forcing you to adapt, right? Yeah. Um, but at least you're saving that commute time and not having to worry about the car breaking down or whatever. I have to remember to start my car just to make sure the battery doesn't die. Right? Yeah, but that's how. Um, yeah. Oh, that's how uh, infrequently I'm using yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. go anywhere. I get excited now. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> You don't understand. You come to my house, I go to your house, and that's it. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's kind of funny though. Like, so Stacy and I, we like we've known each other for many years, but it's like we instantly became like, "Hi, now we're best friends." <laughs> just, just because you know, like we see each other. Like, we went from like hanging out every now and then. Like, our kids go to different schools, so like I find when you're a parent and you have kids. Like the adults you do the most are like adults that like your kids go to the same school or they're or they in soccer together yeah. or something like that. Yeah. But like we, so we would see each other. We met when like our kids were like, like our oldest. Were oh like my gosh. When they were like, like three, two or three, maybe? three. Yeah. yeah. At so, the gym. And now our kids are turning nine this year. So that was six years ago. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I so, met your mom first. Yeah. Too. She met my mom first. Oh, we're telling our origins. I thought your story. mom was like mine. I know. My mom, my mom is, is ridiculous. They have both like, they're so like ridiculously young looking, but um, young looking. Well, you are so young anyway. Um, um, breaking news at the end of the pandemic. Cynthia just got it. Oh, oh, congrats. Um, so oh. my sister-in-law got her vaccine. That's Aww. that's encouraging. Wow. And somebody also asked, how is the vaccine situation up there in Canada? Here in the States, it's getting better. Um, yeah, well, we haven't had, well, they're starting to roll it out, but it hasn't it's hit very the general slow. public yet. Like it's, yeah. I, I think the consensus is everyone's like, come on, like we're not doing it at the rate that feels no. like we should be. I heard some encouraging news that they are hoping to get it out by like, get everybody by May. Okay. So I'm not... Yeah, I don't know. But oh, but your sister in law is vaccinated. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, like, that's huge. Well, and she works. She works with kids, right? Oh, so it okay. makes sense, yeah, right? Yeah. So she's like front line. She's there, like teachers and healthcare workers. They, all these people, they need to be first, right? Yeah. So I get yeah. that totally. Yeah. Um. Well, we've returned to something. Oh, like they just opened here. it up for oh, sixty yeah. to sixty-four year olds. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, that's good. And, uh, yeah. in Australia, I hear things are really good out there. That's right. Cause, uh, my client was telling me, Ross was telling me, um, I turned to something like normal. Yeah. That's, that's encouraging. Well, I hope it stays like that. Um, can't remember normal. I know. I feel, <laughs> uh, my husband was telling me he was reading something that like, uh, some psychologists were talking about how we're going to behave after mass life. Oh, yeah. and, and there is still going to be like, 
they think this tendency for people to just kind of like lean away because we're so used to pro, you well, know, we're not shaking hands. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. Like, I'd be okay with that. The, like, the, the limp, the limp, wet hand of a stranger. Like you don't. No, we can just go to elbow bumps. It's fine. <laughs> but I am a hugger, so you're a big hugger. I'm a big hugger. I'm like, hi, we just met. Yeah. But don't get me weird. Dirty hand. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, no worries. And and you guys feel free to like. Well, tell us I was say chirp in. <laughs> don't chirp. chirp us, please. Don't chirp us. Um, but yeah, tell don't us how you guys have been doing. Um, like on a scale of one to ten, how are you feeling? Like, um, do you have any any what what has been getting you through? Um, is it music? Is it good books? Is it is it our beginner fitness? program that you signed um, up for <laughs> well, see australia did it right they yes did australia it. did do it right because they have an amazing prime minister is it called the prime minister in australia <laughs> I, I think, think it so. is yeah um 50 and older i think which i need to get yeah. signed up somewhere yeah it become <sighs> well good for you natasha sometimes you have to right parent, parent the natasha parent or natasha 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 um so i'll tell you uh something that I do mm -hmm. and I actually really only started it doing uh, only started doing it before we started our um our training program mm -hmm. because I have to practice what I preach and I used to kind of think it was cheesy you know to do all the visualization stuff I've never been a big meditator um but every day I make sure that whether it's at it's usually at the end of the day for me I take half an hour, um, sometimes less, sometimes more. I have my, my nice warm bath. I'm all about the bath. And I say my, my daily affirmations. Aww. Because the more I just say them in my head, just saying them, yeah. um, eventually starts to, uh, makes my brain start to believe it. Yeah. So whenever you guys start getting the negative, um, you know, the negative thoughts in your head, because we're good at that. We're mm -hmm. really good at putting ourselves down or, or, or telling it, talking ourselves out of things. Mm -hmm. So my advice, I just posted this for tomorrow too. It's like, get out of your own way mm -hmm. and be good to yourselves and distract yourselves, but replace the negative thoughts as much as possible by saying, pick like at least three things that you want to have yourself believe. And I don't care if it sounds cheesy or not. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. No, it is um, powerful. It helps. It really does help. And maybe not for everybody, but I know for me, the more I, I do that, and it's even if it's not saying the words, just having that time for yourself, quiet. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm a big, I'm not good with noise. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, yes, yes sure. an exercise, of course. Um, Natasha, Natasha is Jaitlyn. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I like, knew that. I'm like, that's Jaitlyn. <laughs> oh, why did she say? Yeah, she said, no, I'm Jaitlyn, Stacey. Oh, yes. Okay, so I can just call you Jaitlyn. <laughs> I know Jaitlyn because uh, Jaitlyn leaves uh, fun, fun, She's witty comments on and our we, videos. Yeah, and we can relate to her yeah. sense of humor. Yeah, we like you, <laughs> well, we, we like anyone unless you give like us a reason not to. So as long as you're not like a psycho, we for sure like breathing. Yes. Um, yeah. Yes. Oh, that's good. A wristband, a wristband to remind nice. you to breathe. Perfect when in the car working or doing work. You know what? And I used to be one of those people that would get really tense and hold my breath. Mm. That's excellent advice. Yeah. I have to tell my kids that too. Sometimes if they get really worked up, right. It's yeah. that like, I know oh. I'll do that with the kids. I'll be like, take a deep breath into yeah. your nose, hold it. <sighs> But it, like it really, yeah, it's, it's not, I, I think the older I get to, I realize um, these affirmations, breathing, meditation, which I also don't really do, I've done, but not regularly. Um, it's not uh, hocus pocus, like it's real. It, it, it makes a difference. Um, you have to be ready for it. You have to be open to it. Yeah. You but have to be open, um, sure. the, the, our mental, uh, the thoughts we have, um stress all of that affects your physical health like oh, like yeah. i will yeah. get like stomach aches like if i am feeling really upset about something like it it like it gets all up in here and uh and then i have to if i i need to deal with it like is it 
I'm feeling too overloaded. So I need to check some things off my to-do list. Um, is it like a tough conversation that I'm stressed to have and I just have to get those thoughts and feelings out. But like, then I actually physically like can feel my body like deflate and kind of like return to a normal state. Like it, it's wild. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're, they're totally connected. Yeah. I used to, as a kid, um, we're all messes, Natasha. We're glorious, <laughs> but glorious messes. Glorious. Embrace, embrace your inner mess. Yes. And just go with it. <laughs> That's my advice. And calling a friend. Yeah. Having a mm -hmm. friend, like, thank goodness I have my bubble friend. Um, yeah. Any kind of meditation that's still, you know, that's one of my goals still is to learn more to actually mm -hmm. take time to like meditate. But for now it's bath meditation yeah. and that works for me. That's you're okay. you're getting like, clean and warm <laughs> and it's like, multi. Same. I can't even stay in the bath for very long. Cause I'm not like, yeah, I, it's, I start getting wrinkly and I'm just kind of like, I, I need to get out. But just that little amount of time is, yeah. is perfect. It helps me so much. But yeah, as a kid, I used to give myself, um, I didn't give myself, but I would get gas pains mm -hmm. when I was stressed or nervous about mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. It would just be a physical reaction. Yeah. Um, happened all the time, and I'd be doubled over in pain. It was the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know, especially like when, like, if those of you who have kids, whenever you're, you're, you're tummy aches can be anything, but so, mm. so you're, as a parent, you're like, have you pooped? <laughs> Do you have gas? Like, are your pants too tight? Like all these things. And then you're like, oh no, maybe you're just upset about something, right? Like maybe you're just holding in some nervous feelings about something. And then you talk about them with your parents. Oh yes. Massage. Mm. Is huge. I haven't had a massage in so long and you said it. Now I want one oh, so yeah. badly. <gasps> My body could totally use a massage. Um, but you know what? On that topic, first I want to say, hi, Andy. Um, binge watching TV shows. There's a lot of that going on. That's always good. Um, one thing I'm starting to do more is if you have um, like a tennis ball or a hard ball, you can Google this, look up ways to give yourself a massage, mm -hmm. just like rolling mm -hmm. that ball around under your back, under your hips, just find those right spots. And it's really good way to work out stress that mm -hmm. you can do at home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've started incorporating that, incorporating that into my clients programs for some of them. You can do what I do and pay your children a dollar, <laughs> tickle your arm or do your hair. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to do Oh that. my God. Like Maeve will now be like, can I stand for five more minutes if I tickle your <laughs> left arm for like 20 tickles up and down on your left arm and 20 tickles up and down. I'm like, yes. You can what, what are you going to do when they start upping their prices? I know. No, they're going to do know. You're running behind. Anxiety can literally take over. Yes, body. yes, it can absolutely. Event session at the end of work days. Those are good. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you need it. Your teachers, of course. <laughs> yeah, you guys. You know, I I am oh. so impressed with you guys. The stress that you guys have had to, to deal with. I mean, yeah. everybody's had it stressful, but oh my gosh. I know teachers. Like I, I have a lot of respect for teachers anyway. Like mm -hmm. I'm actually a certified teacher, fun fact, but I don't teach. Um, but like I have spent time in classrooms. Um, so have I. I was a teacher's aide once. Ooh. So not really the same thing. Though. It's a tough job. Like when you're job. in there and you see yeah. it happening. And so I already had a lot of respect for teachers before this, but now like I, yeah. Anyone who says teachers are underpaid or have summers off, the summers off are just so they can like get enough of their sanity back, maybe <laughs> so that they don't strangle your children in the fall. Like that's like yes. their time to be like morphed back into a somewhat human form, I think. Um, water workouts. Ah, yes. Yeah. You know what? I have a client um, and his workouts are all in the pool which is a great idea because mm -hmm. now, first of all, he can do that because he's in Australia, which is awesome. <laughs> but I, it makes me want to pool. I want to yeah. work out in the water. And it's great because I'm constantly learning like new moves and thinking about things you can do, but you can get a lot of resistance in there. Yeah. And yeah, I just, I just want to work Guess out. In the water. I didn't tell you this. Oh, I, your mom told me. Oh, <laughs> sorry. No, tell See, me anyway. Tell me anyway. <laughs> My mom's still with it. We're getting a pool this summer. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we ordered it, so we'll see if it comes. It's like one of those like steel friend, like you put it up every summer and take it down. 
and it's going to be an eyesore and literally take up <laughs> every square inch of our backyard. But Kids we're gonna have a pool. That's awesome. So you can come. We, maybe we'll do a, like a pool. one you can actually like swim in. Like yeah, that. it's twelve feet by twenty-four feet. That's amazing. That's yeah. great. It's such yeah. a great way to work out. Yeah. So we we it's should like do a gentle. summer workout in the. We should do a video this summer in the pool. Yeah, doing it. Coming doing it. July twenty twenty one. Stacy's pool workout, and then anyone that doesn't have a pool, they can just like fill their bathtub. <laughs> like, I don't know, or not. <laughs> Might not work, but uh, massage little. chair or pet. Oh, yeah. We, I have a neighbor who has one of those fancy massage chairs. Um, uh, I don't know, they're, they're pretty expensive, but yeah, because like they, you know, yeah. they do everything, yeah, it's awesome. You don't awesome. have to keep putting coins in coins, <laughs> yeah. Jalen said she used to get her little sister to walk on her back. I totally, <laughs> so I'm an only child, I didn't have a little sister, but my friends had little sisters, and we would go to their house and. I think that's just been a lifelong thing. Like I just get people to like tickle my back and do my hair and walk on me just like Jalen. Is that like growing up? I don't know. I'm sorry. This is like making me think like when you went to sleepovers, like did you guys do the like crisscross applesauce yes. on your back and like yeah, braiding cool each breeze. other's hair? Yeah. Cool breeze. Tight yeah. squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. Yeah, I know. Or just the like the circles on the back. Totally. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. I know. And because I, I moved to like different places Massage growing chain. up. chain. Yes, yes, massage <laughs> chain. Like, I hope this person continues. at the end always got the raw deal. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, the switch. one that's, yeah, yeah, and then you switch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Maybe we'll expand. We'll explain when bubbles can open up. We'll have, like, more people on. It'll be, like, full slumber party mode. Yeah. We'll have popcorn. We'll oh, be. yeah. I was like, yeah, I was like, Jen, should we wear our PJs? Um, I'm half in my PJ. <laughs> She's got little sloth PJs on. And I said, my PJs are so ugly. Like I sleep in my husband's old baggy t-shirts and like, nobody cares. Nobody cares. It's true. I, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was like, Ooh, an excuse to get dressed up. I'm not dressed up. I'm wearing what I wear like every day at my computer. So, um, oh, thank you. So do you. Um, I'm so glad all these, all these people are here and, and they're commenting and anything you guys want to talk about, any topics of discussion, throw it up in there. Yeah. We can. Um, if you have any questions for Stacy, if you, um, want me to prank her, what? there's a guitar over there. I could play a song. I can't I don't know how to play guitar. I'm just trying to think of options. <laughs> yeah. my, my husband already threatened to like walk in the background, like <laughs> tell us something girls. I'm still waiting. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's a matter of time before. <laughs> and I see my son is peering at me through the mm. <laughs> being spied on. <clears throat> you should be in bed, mister. Are we being too loud? I love it. I think that's like that's that's childhood right there. Is like spying on the adults <laughs> when you're upstairs, right? I used to always do Yeah, that. it's the yeah. best. And like I have them. talked about and said some swear words. Yes. Yeah, I'm not gonna be invited back. <laughs> <laughs> um not that they haven't uh, heard it before. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it happens. It like, happens. It happens. I would rather. Oh, okay. um, he's miming to us. I think he's either going to get a drink or a sandwich. <laughs> he's definitely not making a sandwich right now. <laughs> I can tell that's like an eating motion. Or a oh, it's a, it's a water. You got a water. Right? My kids don't even like sandwiches. <gasps> oh, yeah. You, they're. they're well, peanut butter sandwiches. Oh, peanut it. butter. Okay. No, only one likes peanut butter. The other one doesn't. They both like very different things. Oh. And that can be stressful. Yeah, that is. It can be stressful. They don't, we have often have to do like the separate meals. Everybody. Yeah. I sometimes forget which kid likes which and they often switch. It'll be like, no, I only like my veggies raw. I like mine cooked. I like carrots. I like broccoli. And then they switch. And you're yeah, like, and then I'll switch like the next week. So. You're lucky you get food. Okay. You're lucky I bring it to you. You're lucky I feed you. <laughs> I've actually started making the kids get their own stuff. I'm like, life skills. Yeah, no, it's it's great. The older they get, the more yeah. you know, responsible. We're starting to talk about chores. Ah. Um, vacuuming might be a minute. Nice. Yeah. One of them is just to learn how to tie their shoes. Yeah. Well, tying shoes, like, <laughs> it's become a lost art. <laughs> it has because so many shoes are just Velcro now. I'm I like, know. they're styling. I don't blame them. Mm -hmm. It's much easier. I would wear Velcro. Bring the kids in for a quick hello. If he comes back down, I will, but. I think the other one's reading to myself. No pressure, <laughs> but <laughs> middle child, uh, middle child, just reading, reading your your comments. Uh, so we're hoping to do <laughs> more of these. Um, I don't know how long this will be. We'll probably keep chatting for a little bit more here, but um, oh, yes, we'll uh, 
like if you guys have any topics you'd like discussed in the future, like again, post COVID, we, we want to have guests on, like we want to have yeah. people come and sit on this orange couch with us. And so like, it's not just, us. it's not just, our, <laughs> I say our big heads, but it's just my big head. <laughs> I'll sit, if my, my head is, there we go, let's switch perspectives, I'll just sit really far back here. Um, but having other people on, like, like experts in different topics, um, other parents, other, whatever, like, we're, we want to, yeah, we want to talk. Whoever wants to talk, is, it's cool with us, come chat. It's yeah. just nice to, to talk to other people. I know, I know. And um, your sister's leaving. Thanks for coming. Aww, thanks for joining us. <laughs> thanks oh yeah yeah, yeah my daughter veggies. doesn't like cooked cooked veggies either and my kids like veggies with hummus like they like them raw if they have like, raw's better like, anyway for from a health point of view mm. I mean, you know you don't want to alter the chemistry or lose any of the nutrients right that's true for most not all veggies i think tomatoes uh you get more of when they're like stewed and, oh really like, yeah oh interesting um but smoothies are good too. I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, of course. Yeah, yeah. That's a good, a good way to. My kids won't drink them. <laughs> <laughs> good idea in theory. I keep trying, but uh, yeah, it hasn't happened yet. Oh, your mom. Okay, Jaitlyn says she can beat everyone in the big head debate. <laughs> Honestly, like if you go, if you can, you measure your head for me right now because I recently did this. Okay, and I know my head is twenty four centimeters, um, which is like. Uh, no, no, not 24. Is it 24 centimeters? Yeah, because I, I had to measure my head for a snowboard helmet. Um, oh, this I don't know if this is what's gonna bend. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna bend very well. It's a metal one. This is the best. 24. 24. And what's yours? Okay. Oh, I got a pony. She pony. has the tiniest pea head. Oh, I do. I wear my daughter's. Hat. It's yeah. She wears her yeah. seven. I have to buy hats. They're like kid size. You're 21 and a half. One team, one and a half. I love that the tape measure came out. That made my dad. It was especially good that it was a metal one, too. Um, <laughs> I do have another kind. I said, trust me. Oh, my mom's on here. My mom just said, trust me, she has the biggest head. <laughs> uh, Not ego, just. Uh, thanks, Andy. Yes. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we can all feel very alone, but we are yeah. not alone. Um, nope. Yeah, in our weirdness, in our anxieties, in our insecurities, in our um, <laughs> I'm trying to get yeah, Jay Lynn, measure your it's head. The head competition, <laughs> the head challenge, measure your head challenge. Stacy and Jen. Oh, like honestly, so like I put like hats on and they just like sit like on top of my head comically. I like, can't. It's an, it's hard for me to find hats. Yeah, like if yeah. I go like. Like I have to get, and sometimes the kids' ones are too small, right? Yeah. There's no like, like youth, I guess is the the right one. Right. They're hard to find. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to have. It's a hard small being me. Head. <laughs> <laughs> I have a small head. Uh, um. Okay. Yeah. If, and also the measuring the head. It's not. It's open to anyone. So if anyone, twenty three. Oh, so no what else did it hear the best? Twenty three. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. So isn't that like an average? I don't know. So anything? I'm. I'm 24 centimeters and was it is that centimeters I'm or inches? Inches. Inches. I said centimeters. I think Wait. it is inches, right? Yeah, 24 inches, not centimeters. The yeah, it's inches. So what is that? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it would be inches. No, it's it can't be centimeters. No, it's not centimeters. It's inches. Yeah. yeah. No, that is an inch. Yeah. Yeah, it's an inch. Okay, I know, not an Math inch. lesson. Hi, guys. In Canada, there's centimeters and there's inches. Anyway, I have a very big head. <laughs> and uh, it, it's an extra large in, like, a snowboard. An adult, like, snowboard helmet. It's, like, an extra large. That's where I'm at. You guys, that's where I'm is at. Is that hard to find? Or is that it was hard to find, oh, okay. yeah. So we're on, like, opposite ends of the spectrum of yeah. difficulty. Yeah. So Life if we had a baby, it would be a perfectly medium-sized head baby. But... <laughs> Look where this conversation has gone. Like it started off like, like we said, anything, can, happen. anything can happen. People are basically people are leaving. <laughs> Two point twenty-two point. I love that people are measuring their heads now, but no one has beat me yet. <laughs> Close, like uh, so. Yeah, I think like twenty-two, twenty-three would be like the norm then. Yeah, we'll say like twenty-three probably. Yeah, this is this is science. 
in centimeters or inches because I'm scared of the centimeter discovery. No, it <laughs> inches. It was inches. inches. I said inches. centimeters. <laughs> that was wrong. This is when. So I've been teaching my son math. Like we're doing. Um, yeah, because this is inter- like so. Stacy's kids are doing virtual school. Some people, like a lot of people that we know, our friends, like they're doing in-person school. Stacy's doing virtual at home. My kids are at home, but we're just doing homeschooling. So I'm always checking in with Stacy, being like. <laughs> So what are they doing in math? Because our kids are in the same grade, just to make sure that I'm teaching them the right thing. So we do a Khan Academy math online. They have a really great program. So, but I'll sometimes be explaining things to my son. And again, certified teacher here. Hi, but math is not my strong suit. And I'll be explaining something to him. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I was explaining that completely wrong. <laughs> like, oh, gosh. I'm. <laughs> well, and they, they teach things a bit differently now, yes, too, right? Yeah. So it's going to be an uphill battle. Yep. My son started off with a teacher and, you know, and again, and I'm not coming down on any of the teachers because this has been an adaptation for everybody. And um, so the first online teacher he had wasn't used to teaching that grade. It wasn't mm. a grade that she'd ever taught before, as far as I, I believe uh, what I was told. And um, the work was really hard for his age group. Um, now he's with another teacher. Um, who's fantastic, 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 but the work is too easy. Mm. So he's really bored. Um, But, you know, that could just be him too. I don't know. But so, yeah, it's a constant struggle just to, you know, yeah. Make sure like my kids finish school so early because the flex time at the end of the day and they're like, I'm done everything. So it's like, "Um, well, I'm still working. (laughs) Entertain yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Go do more math. Um, have I ch- have they checked out Greg Tang math? No, I have not, but I will check that out now. Thank you. Um, kids are doing like ninth grade yeah. stuff. With, yeah, I know. It's, it's kind of all over the place, I think. Yeah. You know, my I think this year is a bit of a, I'm not going to say lost cause, but it's a bit, all, it's definitely all over the map. But what they are taking away from it, what they're all going to come out with is life skills. Yeah. And computer skills. Computer skills. For sure. And they'll all need glasses <laughs> by the end of the year. Actually, my kids are getting their eyes tested oh, this week. And we were saying, too, that, like, when they do go back to, I mean, some of you already have kids in school. But I think for those that don't, when they do go back to school, we're going to be like, you can watch as much videos as you want when you come home, honey. <laughs> You've already been away from screens for six hours. <laughs> Hallelujah. go for it oh man I know it's so true whatever <laughs> I think yeah like survival right now I think yeah. the as long as if the kids are mental health their physical health is all right you're winning you know <laughs> like like because we're everyone's just coming at this from every you know I early on in the pandemic I read this someone wrote um we're all in the same storm but in different boats Hmm. And that really resonated with me because it's true. Like I consider the boat that I'm in to be like, it's, it's a yacht. Like I feel very fortunate. Like we have help. I'm, I, we both have our jobs still. We're healthy. Like we, we are good. Like neither of us are frontline workers. You know, we we're very protected that way. And I, I kind of feel guilty about it. Like I have a lot of friends that are doctors and nurses and teachers and, and, you know, work in grocery stores and pharmacies and, I'm like, you're the real heroes. You're out there seeing this every day, right? So everyone at the end of all this, whatever this is, like we're all going to come at it from all these different angles. Um, But if we can just do our best, like through chats and hanging out to like just keep ourselves sane, sane, (laughs) then I think that's key. Absolutely. Kids are resilient. Yes. Healthy and happy. Yeah, everything else can be. I I agree. I well, they're they're starting to. I mean, it's just. But I yeah. mean, they made that a focus at least for our virtual school. Um, no, they don't have typing classes anymore. Oh my god, I took typing. I I'm an too. awesome typist. I yeah. can I use it? I use it for myself. I'm really fast, and I don't have yeah. to look at the keys. Yeah, same. Everyone else is like deep, 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 deep. But they're just as fast. So you know. No, again, I know. I remember that. Do what works for you. <laughs> Home row. Yeah, do, 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 do. I know, but what's funny is if you gave me a picture, I couldn't write out what goes where. No, but my mom, like it's muscle memory. Yeah, 
And mine was a French keyboard because I was doing it in French. Ooh la la. Accent aigu. Why? I don't know. <laughs> um, yes, kids are resilient and happy during this transit. Yeah. And you know what? I've already, like, I was so high strung about video time and stuff at the beginning of this. Now I'm just kind of like, yeah, sure, hon. Sure. Yeah. Mommy's got to finish her work. And, like, yeah. it's not ideal, but there are worse things they could be doing. And I've... Like, I've I've had to lighten up a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, their brains aren't going to turn to mush. No. They're they're, not. As long as they're doing their work. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And again, as long as I can force them outside. Well, my kids don't to remember do work, what the so, outside world is. And like, just do something. <laughs> no. But I, I've also done like a, a 180, like just with, yeah, with computers, with gaming in general. Like, um, I remember, like, I was very nervous about what's this going to do? Like, yeah, is your brain going to turn to mush? They have learned so much, like yeah. from like their spelling is amazing, um, strategy, creativity, uh, just general computer skills. So at least that's what I'm telling myself, <laughs> and it's working. So hey, it's the fine. vocabulary, the vocabulary. Yeah, uh, both my six year old and my eight year old have from Minecraft. Yes, yeah. even yeah, it's, like they're saying colors and words. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not familiar with. Yeah, my my six year old taught my husband what cyan was the yes. other day. Yeah, so remember kids saying cyan? It's cyan, mommy. It's cyan. cyan. Like I'm supposed to know what that is. Yeah, and they'll be like, oh, hold on, I'll come in a minute. I'm just smelting. I'm just smelting a a pickaxe. I'm like. Okay. Um, my, That's uh, great that your uh, your grade six class does that program. Mind up. Yeah. Yeah. The, it's important, right? They they should all be doing it. Um, you know, the kids need it too. Yeah, they for really sure. Because it's been such an adapt uh, adaptation for them as well. Adaptation. Sure. Uh, ad They've had to adapt. Let's just switch the tense because I don't know how to make oh, that work. That my sentence. brain is like. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, it was just a random book of gibberish that you could. <laughs> you guys are fun. This is fun. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know. Should we wrap it up here shortly? You oh think? yeah, fifty-one minutes. I think so. Um, and you guys can let us know if if you want to do it again because yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to. Yeah, yeah, I just don't want them to feel obligated to like like okay, we're here and we don't want to leave, but like, can you guys wrap this up? Because we were <laughs> yeah. talking about that. We were talking about that before we started. You don't this. have to feel rude when you're like on Instagram and someone's doing a live and you accidentally end up oh, in their live. Yeah. And you weren't trying to watch it, and then you see there's only like two of you, and you're like, ah, and then you spaz and have to leave it because you're like, yeah. Well, because can't they see you like your name? Yeah. Or they're like, oh, so and so's here, and then that person gets excited, and you're like, I, I don't have time to watch your live right now, but I feel rude leaving, so we don't want to trap you. Oh, more live chats. Okay, great. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's one person. Yeah. <laughs> Natalie wants us to do it again, so we'll do it again for you. We'll do it just for Natalie. My mom, oh, my mom's doing, uh, she said she's doing karate heart health. Uh, so she's found, like, these karate moves online. Yeah. And she holds, my mom's the best. We've already established this. She holds, like, a she pillow does. and lets the kid, like, gets them to do, like, karate kicks. Oh, that's great. And then they balance for, like, core strength on, like, a stack of pillows. And then they do, like, side kicks and front kicks. And then she takes a pool noodle and what, waves it with their other hand so that they have to duck. And then they're, like, ducking and kicking. And <laughs> Nana Sensei. We, we could get her Nana. To, Sensei Nana. We could get her to do a Sensei video. Su. Sensei Su. Oh my god, I'm gonna call you that from now on. Sensei Su. <laughs> oh. oh, this is great. Uh okay, good. Thank all you, right. all Thanks, of you. Guys. And um, yeah, we have a new video coming. What day is it today? Wednesday. Yes. So we have a video this Saturday. What well, we always do. Is it the is it Pilates this? It's a Pilates, Pilates bar, bar blend. blend. <laughs> So if you want to join us for some Pilates on Saturday, it'll just, it's still going to be a workout. Um, just, you know, like to change it up every now and then make it a little bit different. So Jaitlin, you are not responding too much. You are participating in the no. conversation and we are happy to have you here. Absolutely. And one day is Jaitlin in Canada? Uh, no, she's in the States. Okay. She's in Michigan, right? I want to meet you one day. I think you're in Michigan. <laughs> I want to meet all of you one day. Uh, more than just virtually. Um, yeah. Okay. So we will do another one, maybe in a couple weeks or a month or something. Maybe once a week or whatever. We'll figure it maybe, out. Yeah. We'll 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 figure it out. <laughs> yeah. No, not committing to anything. Yeah. But I'm not. I don't like to commit. Oh, someone asked me what program am I using to edit the video. Oh. So our workouts. Um, I use Premiere. So Adobe Premiere. 
So that's what I use for my day job. Um, it's a program I, I started on Final Cut years ago. So actually, I learned on Avid mm. years and years ago. It's very, it's it's capable of a lot, but it's a very clunky, big. It's not user friendly. It's expensive. So I learned on Avid. Then I went to Final Cut for a number of years, and now I use Premiere. And Premiere's a lot like the original Final Cut. If you're familiar with any of those, um, yeah. And she's awesome at it. Thanks. Thanks. JKL. JKL. Those are the keys. Um, stuck in Detroit. Ah, Detroit. Okay. <laughs> she's about to launch herself across the river. Like a <laughs> rocket. <laughs> like with a catapult. I love it. Uh, I feel for you. Good. I feel for you. Please hang in there. <laughs> yes, everyone uh, stay safe. Thank you so much for joining us. This was really fun. Bye, guys. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, bubble friend. Bubble friend. Love fest. <laughs> my my earring just got stuck in your hair. <laughs> I didn't even know you were wearing earrings. Yeah, they're very small. They're subtle. They're little. An X and an O. I better put some in before my holes close up. I don't think they ever do. I think when you pierce your no, ears, they, they do. Do they? they? Do, yeah. Oh. It gets harder to, and then they oh, close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to like kind of force it through again. This is really exciting. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is like, <laughs> <hand> on. <laughs> so we can just go off on tangents now talking about you. All right. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> and. We will no longer stream live. Yeah.